North Carolina was considering passing a bill picking an official state religion. And they thought that they could do that even though it's the most unconstitutional thing anybody's ever seen. Right now they claim, no, 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 the states are sovereign and we don't have to listen to the federal constitution. I believe that issue has been settled. I think that's been settled. Okay, okay. but nonetheless, anyway, and she is one of the people who pressed that bill forward. It's now gone away, I believe. That right. Bill, yeah. So now, uh, let me tell you, let me back up a little bit and tell you how this all started. Representatives Carl Ford and Harry Warren were upset that in Rowan County, the ACLU had sued and saying, hey, you can't uh, do a Christian prayer before commissioners start the beginning of meetings. This, you're in a government proceeding, you can't do a prayer. It's obvious, right? It violates the establishment of religion clause. They got upset and so this all snowballed so that they presented that bill uh, saying that in North Carolina we can establish a religion. And then we did a segment on the Young Turks where we had brackets and we thought, you know, let's help them pick the religion. And it, so look, hey, tough luck, it was a sad day. I mean, Christianity was the number one seed and they got to the finals. Yeah. Nothing to be ashamed of. Right. And and we wanted to be clear on that Christianity, we meant Protestant evangelical. Catholics were a two seed. They, they right. had a shot in it. But it turned out it was the Jews. The Jews won. Yeah. So so North Carolina obviously will have to all convert to Judaism. So that's been decided, but apparently they're not that happy with that. But as we said at the end of that clip, it could have been worse. It, it, the, four, the, the five seed could have won, it, that was Muslims, right? <laughs> and so won. that leads us back to Michelle Presnell. So uh, somebody who disagrees with the law establishing a religion in North Carolina writes into her, and she's a state representative, and they, so they she's ask her. from Burnsville. Yeah, and, and Britt Kaufman asks her, hey listen, would you support an Islamic prayer before uh, state legislative meetings? Because if you establish a religion, maybe you could have an Islamic that prayer. That was his whole question. Right. Would you support an Islamic prayer? Right. And her answer is, quote, no, I don't condone terrorism. <laughs> no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, we're talking about prayer. Yeah, right? prayer. Okay, but isn't that awesome? I don't think that she's being malicious. No. I, I, I think she really thinks, what do you mean, Muslims, they're all terrorists. I mean, the, the number of really simple-minded, ignorant state legislators in this country say nothing to members of Congress, but it's staggering. I mean, you don't have to be the brightest kid in the class. And, I don't, and, and by the way, plenty of kids who weren't the brightest kid in the class go on to do great things in politics. But this woman, she's not, that's not a thinker. That's not a person who has any sort of significant thought about progress in this country in any way. Would you do Islamic prayer? No, I, I do not condone terrorists. What are you, nine? <laughs> that's unbelievable. All right, then she says, quote, we just need to start taking a stand on our religious freedom or it'll be whisked away from us. You just... <laughs> said that a Muslim prayer would be terrorism. <laughs> so I think that you've missed a couple of things. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the irony of this is awesome. No, first of all, your bill was to take away religious freedom and impose only one religion to rule us all. Okay, so that would be a big irony to begin with. Second of all, when we talked about religious freedom for Muslims, you said, no, they're terrorists. And then to back that up, you said, that's why we need religious freedom. 